Today we're going to be reviewing the prehistoric sharks. This video is for Andrew. And our names are Alex and Caesar. And so today our first shark of the day is one of the weirdest dorsal fin shaped shark ever. His name is Stethacanthus. Now this shark, what was weird about it is if you can see this right here, which is his dorsal fin, was actually an anvil shaped dorsal fin dorsal fin, which is very weird for one of these sharks for prehistorics. Now this might be one of a girl's favorite shark by sides of its color, Scapanorhynchus. Now this shark is very, very cool indeed. And also a family member of the goblin shark, which with its extendable jaws. Now what we mean by extendable is it can shoot right out of their mouth. But not to worry. This shark is very, it's not really that weird, but even though it does have a very long snout, that's what makes it very, very cool indeed. And if you look at the tail, it's different from other sharks because it's just pointing all the way up. Okay, good. All right, so the third shark that we're going to review is, is called Cretoxyrhina. Now, this looks similar to the great white shark that we have today, but was four inches bigger, meaning that this shark may have been much bigger than the great white and also much powerful. Now, this shark does look very, like, it looks, like, very good, and, I mean, it doesn't really look weird, but it's a really prehistoric shark. All right. Next one we have is Xenocanthus. Now, as you can see, Xenocanthus is very, very weird because of its spine, which is actually its dorsal fin, and plus its long dorsal fin around here. Now, these flip, these look like flippers to me. And also, it looks like a snake when you turn it like this. But or but Xenocanthus was one of looked like a family member to Orthocanthus. As you can see, my brother will put it up for you. All right. Sorry for the wait, but now the next shirt that we have as I told you, is the family member of Xenocanthus, which is known as dun, 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 Orthocanthus. Now, it did have the long dorsal fin and spine, which made it very, very cool indeed. Looks similar, just mouth open. But yes, it, they, it is a family member to, to Xenocanthus. This is very cool. Moving on to the next one, that was probably even not so weird, but maybe. This is Clado Selkie. Now, I have to stand up like this because it really does that. And so, Clado Selkie had a spine in front of its, each dorsal fin. Now, really what this means is not really anything, but not it doesn't really look that weird. Just like similar to the spiny dogfish that had spines in in the back of each dorsal fin in instead of the front of each dorsal fin. So the next shark that we have is even weirder than most of others. Edestus. Edestus was one of the weirdest sharks. And as you can see, the teeth are pointing outward. See what I mean? That is one cool shark. And plus, these are one of the weirdest sharks too. Because... They actually chomped like that too, which was their power up. Next one that we have was kind of similar to one another, but I'm not going to name it. It's called Sarco Prime. This shark, as you can see, had a saw in its mouth. Now, there are two different. These, this is another brother to the other one over there in the white over there. Now, now, as you can see, the saw right here was so, so, so that it actually moved, which was really weird. This is one of the weirdest shrugs, too. Next one that we have is the brother of Sarko Prine. Dun da da da, tra da la la la. Just kidding. This is one of the weirdest shrugs ever known. 
to be around in prehistoric times. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That is so weird. A saw in its mouth. A saw in its mouth. Yes, this is a prehistoric shark, and it's called Helicoprion. This thing was so weird, I can't even believe it. I'm going to shake it around. Dun, 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 dun. Just kidding. This is so weird, I can't believe it. Yeah, like... It's like my brother even knows this thing too, and it's so weird. But yes, it even... Ch Some people say that it might have eaten squid because of its soft body prey. Now, here's the full image of it. Now, that is cool. And for the last one, which is our last and final shark, maybe not looks that weird, but it's high bodice. Now, high bodice was very, very common to the spiny dogfish and Cladoselchi, even though that it had its spine, see here, in front of its dorsal fin, which was made, made this shark pretty weird. Well, it doesn't really look weird to me, and maybe you too. But that's our finalist sharks. Okay. And so, guys, this is our shark collection. And if you guys want to check out other videos, like our UFO video, this is really cool. In fact, so all the names are in the dis are in the comments because we're gonna leave a comment below saying all of our, the names of them. Maybe even send you guys some pictures. I don't know. But again, thanks guys for watching. Have a great day. And again, this is Alex and Caesar signing out. Okay, sorry, that was wrong.